Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. And today I want to talk about The Best Disc of Stuff by George Whitfield Chadwick. Chadwick? Who's Chadwick? Well, Chadwick lived from 1854 to 1931, and he was a very accomplished composer. He wrote really good stuff. He was a member of the New England School, somewhat conservative, but not entirely. You know, late romantic kind of guy. He wrote three symphonies. The second may be the best of them. They're very good. Two and three, at least, are marvelous pieces. They're really as good as like any late romantic Germanic style symphony. They're they're similar more to sort of Dvorak, especially this symphony with the scherzo, which has just this wonderful tune, and it's delicious. And then his symphonic sketches are extremely well known. Howard Hansen recorded them, and they were also done by a bunch of other people. There is, his music's well served. Chandos had a series with Nimi Yarvi that, you know, had its moments. It wasn't fabulous, but it wasn't terrible. And and um, Jose Cerebriere did a bunch of Chadwick stuff for reference recordings, which was excellent and very, very well recorded. But this, with the U uh, National Ra Radio Symphony Orchestra of Ukraine, with Theodore Kuchar, is just wonderful, because Kuchar is such a terrific conductor. And he gives us the best version of Symphony No. 2, um, which was also at Albany. I mean, he's well represented, well represented and deserves to be because he's just a, really a first-rate composer. It's that simple. The, the symphonic sketches, which were composed between, what, 1895 and 1904, took a long time. It's a big work, 30 minutes in four movements. They are Jubilee, which is kind of a gloss on Dvorak's Carnival Overture, and Noel, and then Hobgoblin, and a Vagram Ballad. They're wonderful works. Meaty, serious, symphonic pieces, and they're, they're you know, but full of color and, and, and originality, quite frankly. I mean, this is just good, solid, terrific music. Very well performed and recorded. This is now the time where I get to make my usual spiel about how Americans treat their own music so badly. Why, oh why, do, does Naxos have to go to Ukraine to do a Chadwick disc? I mean, they do it very well. I'm very grateful that they did it. I really am. But, oh, it's just such such a, a thing of despair for me. At least Yarvi had the Detroit Symphony. I mean, thank goodness. But, you know, why are we doing this to ourselves? Why have we no, no, no pride and no sense of security? I mean, there are millions of composers. I mean, God damn it, in the UK, they'll record any piece of junk some composer wrote. It's all on Lyrita. <laughs> and some of it's good and some of it's not. You like the Moran Symphony in G minor? Why don't you like the Chadwick? It's just as good. You know, there was no problem over in the UK with all these people recording this stuff and playing it. Well, of course, that's not exactly true because it doesn't get played in the UK either. It just got recorded more more um, enthusiastically than it gets recorded here because American orchestras won't play American music unless it's their trendy, you know, composer in residence or some awful academic serialist monstrosity. I mean, then they'll do it. But when you get a really wonderful romantic composer like Chadwick, whose music is, is bound to be a crowd pleaser, they won't play it. And it, even worse than the fact that they won't play it is audiences won't go to see it. And that, to me, you know, we could use a little bit more, um, uh, well, arrogance. Is that the word? I mean, I'm plenty arrogant, but I mean, you know, the the... the viewing or listening audience, you don't see people saying, oh, they're programming a Chadwick symphony. Let's go see it. The same way they'll say, oh, they're doing a Mahler symphony. Let's go see it. But it, it should be that way. We should have a desire to hear the music that native composers wrote when they were good composers. I mean, then you don't have to go hear junk, I understand. But Chadwick was good. This is really good music. I enjoy this disc. I listen to it willingly not out of some sense of obligation, but because it really rewards music, the time and attention you give to it, like all great music does. You know, you get it? So, so please, folks, if you're American, if you're not American, listen to this too. You'll be surprised. It's just nice, late romantic stuff. I mean, if you listen to the Brook Symphonies, I mean, well, this is 10 times better than that. You know, if you listen to Wrath, well, this is probably better than that. 
And you know the symphonic sketches. I mean, it's it's a it's a minor masterpiece. I think by any by any definition, it's just good stuff. So go forth and keep on listening to Chadwick. Thank you for joining me, friends. Take care.